is because um oh my gosh I can't talk oh what is wrong okay let me start over hi everybody I'm back and today's video I'm going to be doing a haul video of the stuff that I purchased um, a lot of these stuff are from Sephora and some of you guys might think that this is a big haul but I honestly feel like it's not because I've been collecting um, haul video is going to be more of like lipsticks. I have a really bad habit with lip colors and a lot of these lip colors are mainly like dupes of the ones that I already have. Because Sephora was having this VIP uh, percent sale, uh, me and my auntie went and I kept on wanting to go back because there was something that I really wanted to get. And I've been wanting to get this ever since it came out but I just never got the chance to get it. Um, and then the second day I went back and I was like, yeah, honey, I have to get it. Um, besides that, I'm just going to go on with the video. And I put everything in this bag just because I got a big Sephora bag. First off, I'm going to go with what I purchased very first, which was my Morphe, um, palette. And this one is their newest, I can't remember. Oh, this one is the 3502. The box is like right there, but... Yeah, um, my auntie sent me this on Instagram about when it was coming out. So I was like, okay, I set my alarm for it because I knew that I really wanted this. Unlike the Jaclyn Hill palette, I wanted, but then, um, my husband's really bad at, like, reminding me. So I told him that you have to remind me at 10 in the morning so I can purchase it. And so he didn't remind me, and by the time I got to it, it was, like, already sold out. So... I know that it's back up right now, but I don't think I want that palette anymore since I already got this palette. Um, this is my very first Morphe uh, palette or like my very first um, purchase from Morphe. I never purchased any of their uh, brushes yet and I've been thinking about becoming one of their subscription. But uh, like I said, I don't know yet. And I haven't even used this palette yet on myself, but I've used this palette on my sister-in-law. She came over, um, let me see, oh, on my baby's birthday. So she came over on October, the week of October 22nd. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, and, um, her and my brother was gonna go out for, um, I think they wanted to go clubbing or something, or to the bar or something. So I decided to use this palette on her. But it turned out that she didn't even go anyway, so I dollar up for just a dollar up. But she's honestly really pretty. <laughs> because, like I said, this is my first purchase. I didn't really know how um, pigmented this is. This is actually really pigmented, and it's really creamy. Um, but, yeah, like, when it was my first time using it, I couldn't really, uh, like, oh, how should I say it? Like, I didn't really know how to control my brush using this because I kept, I felt like I was using very little, but it came out, like, a lot. Okay, so let me just do it right here. Like, I'm really new to, like, showing you guys, so it might be really bad. Um, but yeah, it's really creamy, as you guys can see. I have, like, this, um, little plastic sheet that's tells me what color uh, or like the name color of these eyeshadows um i kind of feel like it might just be like a really bad idea for me because usually i just throw this out and i might forget like what color i use uh, okay i'll do the sephora last because everything from sephora is like majority lipsticks like i said um so i'll go on with the walmart stuff because um I want to just like maybe the item from Walmart. Oh, and then NYX too. So I'll do that after. Okay, so from Walmart, I really needed new eyelashes um, because I ordered some. And like the eyelashes that I ordered, they were just like super long. Um, they're more natural and thick, but they were just like super long for me. And I have like really small eyes. So... Yeah, I had to go to Walmart and purchase these two. I wanted to purchase um, eyelashes like a month ago, but then when I went to Walmart, um, the Walmart that I went to uh, last month, 
they were like they just had really bad customer service and i asked the lady because for some reason they locked up their eyelashes so i asked um the lady if she can open the eyelashes for me or like the the glass for me because i wanted to purchase them and then she pointed to an island and said that there was some over there for me to just go grab it so i went over there and there were none eyelashes there so i was like okay whatever like let's just leave <laughs> but anyway so this is what i have on my eyes right now and the reason why there's uh that one that fits missing is because when i took out these two i lost one side and like i don't know how but like i it was on the table and my baby kept on like trying to touch my stuff so i told my husband to come and take her away and then when he did, uh, my eyelash glue was on the floor and it was open too. So I bent down to pick it up and then I like swung my hair back and it was like gone. So I was thinking that like it was stuck on my hair. So I was telling my husband, can you check my hair? I don't want to go out with eyelashes stuck on my hair. And he's like, no, it's not there. So when I went to go change, somehow it was like stuck on my shirt. But um, by then, I already took out this pair to like wear. So yeah. Um, this one is more of like... Um well, they're both crisscross lashes, and I'm a really big fan of crisscross lashes. Um, I just feel like with crisscross lashes, they just make my eyes like, um, they just make my eyelashes uh, look more fuller and thicker, but in like a natural way. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. And then I also really like the eyelashes. That's um, the inner part is really short, and then the outer part is longer. I feel like. When I do that, it makes my eyes, it makes my eyelashes look just more natural. Instead of like having it like all long at the same time. Um, but yeah. And then this other one is crisscross, but it's like all, um, it's like short on one side, long and then short. Um, but yeah, I after I purchased this, I kind of have a feeling like, they might be a little too long for me too, so I haven't tried this yet. But when I do, I'll let you guys know. And then, um, next thing I purchased from Walmart was these All Made liquid liner. Um, I remember using All Made eyeliner back when I was in high school, and I really liked it. Um, just because I think the All Made eyeliner that I tried back then was like my favorite one. I feel like because I really like the eye the eyeliner that has like the tip that's really it's not really hard. Um it's more like a spongy type at the tip. Um but yeah let me just open it right now. I haven't used this yet because I've been using uh, the one that I originally had and I feel like the one that I have right now that I'm using right now um I like the fact that it's really black but um the tip is, is like really hard. It's not like a brush tip or like a sponge tip. And I prefer the sponge tip over the brush just because I feel like it's either the brush is messed up or I wouldn't know how to like put it on. So yeah, it looks like this. And sometimes this tip right here confuses me. I keep thinking that it's white, but the packaging says that it's black. So we'll see. So it looks like this. And let me see. Okay. Okay, so it looks like this. I wonder if it's like focusing. Okay. But yeah, I feel like I really like the eyelash the eyeliner. Have I been saying eyelash? I feel like I really like the eyeliner that's um the tip is more like a spongy type instead of a brush but I don't want the tip to be super hard because the one that I have right now um, the tip is just really hard and it's actually really hard to work with too um, but yeah and then next I have uh, or okay so I bought these hair tie just because I feel like all my hair tie always goes missing so I just need more <laughs> so with the Sephora I'm gonna go off with what I bought the second day so the second day, I bought this uh, mini Tarte um, Boosting Mist, and this is a setting spray. Um, I actually kind of really like it, and this is what I have on right now. Um, yeah, it smells kind of like um, orange to me, um, like when you're peeling an orange. Um, you know, like that smell. Yeah, it smells like that. So with this spray, I had it on yesterday for the whole entire day. And it actually was really good. Um, 
I didn't have to like touch up on my makeup at all. Like none of my highlight had to be touched up. None of my lip colors, my eyeshadows, nothing like that had to be touched up. And um, I don't know, but I just feel like this is actually really good for me as far as now. This was what I really wanted to go back to Sephora for was this Vanity Beauty uh, foundation. And... I couldn't tell if it's more of like the setting spray that smelled like orange or if it was this but one or the other had a fruity smell and this one has a smell to it too but like I said I wouldn't know because I just spread the the I just spread the uh, the setting spray so yeah but I had this on yesterday too for the whole entire day and what I realized about this is that like it dries up really quick um, other than that, it do give me full coverage. Oh, okay, on top of that, so the reason why I didn't purchase this when it first came out was because, um, I wanted to try this other brand of foundation. I did purchase it, but my baby kind of, like, lost it. Um, yeah, when I bought it home, uh, she was, like, playing with it, and then I just never found it again. So, yeah. So I really wanted to go back and get this one because my Urban Decay foundation is like dying out <laughs> or like it's almost gone. And with me, I um, I only purchase like foundation, like the higher brand for a foundation um, once my other one is like out. But then as far as drugstore foundation, I do buy them here and there. But I kind of stopped buying them just because I feel like... I can't really match my color well if I just to walk into the store and just buy it. And I really hate the habit of like returning and like, okay, this is what I've been telling you guys about. I have a really bad habit of this and um, yeah, yeah, I just had to like buy these lips color and these are like the holiday gift sets, but I'm purchasing these for myself. And when I went, oh my gosh, I don't even remember how long I was in that store going back and forth thinking what I want because I wanted all the holiday lip color set that they had. Um, but I ended up with going with these. The reason why I went with this one is because they look really um, like natural nude colors. And uh, uh, this is what I have on right now. I have on this Hudson one. And... Yeah, it's what I have on my lip right now. I feel like it matches me really well. I can't wait to try like these other two colors just because I really like the um, the one I have on my lips right now. And uh, when I apply it on, what I like about it is when it comes to like these lip gloss, um, dry matte uh, lipsticks, whatever. I feel like I don't want them to be like like me putting it on and then it just dries right away because then it's going to take me a really hard time trying to fix it um and uh, plus I have like cricket lips I never noticed that until like like I got into or maybe it was my maybe my auntie told me or somebody or I don't know but like growing up every time whenever I put on like uh, red lipstick I always have problems with it like I never like how the red lipstick turned out on my lips and then um, recently I found out that my lips are crooked <laughs> um, so yeah it just takes me a really hard time trying to make my lip look perfect and I know everybody has like nobody's gonna have the perfect face in the world but I just feel like if I was to okay so if, for example the ColourPop lipsticks uh, when I put it on, they dry really quick, so I have a really hard time trying to, like, fix it. Because um, once they dry, I have to use, like, concealer or, like, makeup wipes just to, like, shape out my lips and everything. But if they take, like, maybe a couple seconds to a minute to dry, then I can, like, just wipe my lip around here and, like, take a piece of napkin or, like, dry wipes and just, like, wipe it and just, like, fix it really quick. Um, so with these, they, they don't dry really quick, but then they don't dry, like, they don't take a long time to dry either, which is really good, because when I applied it on, I was able to, like, apply it on my whole lips, and then fix it, and then it dried right out there. So, I think it's really good so far. And then next are these lipsticks that I really, really want to try. I cannot wait to try these, but, um, 
I kind of wanted to like wear it for more of like the Christmas holiday season right here. And I know that's really bad because these are like the main reason why I wanted to at least. Um, and then I also like this this color right here. I'll show you guys because I feel like this color um, is kind of like the same as my Tarte birthday lips lip one that I got. And it's just really natural on my lip. So, yeah. oh, but I have a feeling like this one might be a little too dark. So this is my first time opening these. Um, so yeah, so this is how it looks like. Yeah, I feel like that one might be a little too dark, but okay. Let me try this. This one, maybe this one will work. Okay. Yeah, maybe this pinky one. Okay. So yeah, this is how it looks like, and I feel like. This color might look really natural on my lip. Um, but yeah, let me just go on with these Mac Tag ones because I really want to try these. But I remember I bought one. Um, it was like a sparkly one. It was more sparklier than this for Valentine's and I actually never used it. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see this because I'm like new with my like light. I mean not like with my camera. Um, I just purchased a new lens. Oh this is so pretty. Okay so that's how they look like. <laughs> I'm so bad with like trying on my hand. <laughs> okay. I honestly really like it. I kind of really like this nude brown right here too. It kind of looks like what I have on my lips right now. See, I'm telling you guys, all my lips, they all look the same or they kind of like similar. They're basically like a dupe of each other. And one reason why I kind of really like these um, mini ones instead of buying like the whole actual big one is because... Um, or like the full size is because like I said I'm always buying new lip colors so now I'm thinking I might just go with like the mini lip colors but I don't know yeah because some of these mini sets that they have some of the colors are some that I want even like wear okay so next is the bare mineral nude this is my very first bare uh, mineral um, like brand that I bought too I think yeah, maybe. No, I lied. I had a bare mineral loose powder once. Maybe it was bare. I don't know. Okay. So, anyways, these are really natural nude colors, just like what I have already. But let me just swap this one because I kind of really like this color. Oh, I can't even like pop it out. Okay. So. It smells kind of like some type of candy. Oh, I kind of don't like the texture of this on my hand. I mean, it's not like the texture, but like... It's more like lip gloss instead of like a dry matte. And I'm more into like the matte lipsticks or like lip gloss. Um, okay, let me try a different one because I'm kind of not feeling this one right now. Okay, let me just try this one. Oh no. I kind of don't like it, guys. Okay, I might have to put this on my lip later and see if I do like it. But do you see how I get some more like shiny i don't know if you guys can tell that in camera but oh my gosh i'm regretting this right now dude are you serious oh you know what 
Okay, let me try weekend because the packaging is saying that um, the first two that I put on my hand was the, uh, the sugar lip and flirt and that one are buttercream with gloss. Maybe that's why I'm not liking it, but they also said that Weekend and Icon are nude matte. So let me try those. Let me try Weekend. Okay. Do I hope this one works out for me? Oh, it has like a chocolate, a chocolate smell to it. Okay. Now this is not the that I'm liking. Oh my gosh. That's so weird, you guys. Okay. So you guys can see that color right there. I'm like really bad with like doing these swatches on my hand. I'm like twisting and turning my hand right now. But I think I really like it. Um, this is like one of my like very first swatch video. This is why I'm really bad at this. Um, I don't really do haul video much just because... I'm really bad at like talking and like I go off topic a lot. And then next I'm going to go with my NYX. I only bought two um, lip gloss, lipsticks, whatever. And I was debating about getting the mini holiday set. But then like I said, there there were just some colors in, in there that I just knew I wasn't really going to use. So I haven't even opened this red one yet. But I wore this yesterday and I... I feel like this one is like one that I already have from NYX. Um, let me just see because I don't know if the NYX app shows me like the stuff that I purchased already. Okay, what my next app might like, don't show me what kind of stuff I purchased already. So um yeah, I if you guys been watching like my other videos, I think I've done it in one of my favorite videos, but um I also really like the NYX uh, lingerie ones and one of the color really looks just like this one. So, um, yeah, I really like it, but I think this one is more like just a little brighter than the other one. Okay, how would I do this so you guys can see? It? So I had this on yesterday and the whole entire day I did not have to like touch up on it. But maybe it was my lip or the weather or something because I was outside the whole entire day yesterday. Or not outside the whole entire day, but like we were like out all day yesterday driving from store to store. So this is what it looked like. But after, let's see, I want to say after three or four hours, my lips started to get really dry. And, um... Yeah, like you can just tell that like my lip was super dry, that it was like starting to peel off. And then I have this other one. Um, this is Red Queen by NYX too. Um, let's see if I can open this one. So the only reason why I bought this red one is because I really like red lips during this like holiday season. Um, oh my gosh, I have a runny nose. And also for like the Mon New Year, I really like red lips to match my outfit. But sadly, I'm not wearing any Mon clothes this year. Um, but yeah, okay, if I can even open this thing. <sighs> Dude, I swear I always struggle. Okay, so. They don't really have a smell to it besides like the new packaging smell. Okay. So here's what it looks like. It's really red, like bright red. And that's kind of like the lips that I really like for the holidays is bright red lips. Um, but yeah, that's just how it looks like. 
and I cannot wait to try this lipstick on. Um, hopefully it's not really dry like the other one. My baby's all excited. So anyways, yeah, that's it for my haul video and I hope that you guys like it. And let me know if you guys want me to do more haul videos in the future of like the stuff that I do buy. Um, again, like I said, this is kind of like my first haul video so I'm kind of really new at this. And also I'm really new to like um, I'm not new to talking to the camera, but I know that I have a really bad habit of talking to the camera. Um, so just bear with me on that. I'm trying to like talk to the camera more just so that I would uh, stop using um, okay or so. or You know, just like those stupid dumb words that I keep using throughout my video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.